this is Mary Kay, and we're here for our second segment of Ask the Experts. Today we have a great question about pruning crepe myrtles. Mary Kay, would you like to tell us about how to prune a crepe myrtle? I would love to tell how to prune a crepe myrtle. Um, I think the first thing to remember is don't prune the crepe myrtles. <laughs> no crepe murder. No crepe murder. No crepe murder. Everybody goes in and cuts off Wax. butchers their crepe myrtles, mm -hmm. and that is not an acceptable practice. Crepe That's myrtles bad. have a beautiful form. Most of them are an upright vase shape, which we like to see. If you need to remove any of the uh, trunks that are crossing, you can do that in the winter time. Usually January, February is a good time when they're dormant. Um, you prune to open up the center to light and air because air circulation will diminish the amount of powdery mildew you get. Uh, you'll also get better light to the center. Um, but it's okay to deadhead or cut off the old blooms pretty much any time of the year, even during the growing season if that's what you want. The newer varieties have uh, sterile flowers that don't produce seeds, so that's really not going to slow bloom down. But this old time habit of coming in and whacking off these crepe myrtles, I'm going to tell you where it came from. I call it monkey see, monkey do. We have somebody who came in and whacked off the crepe myrtle because it was planted too close to the house or uh, they picked a variety that was going to grow too tall for their house and it came the overhang would get encroached upon maybe it'd get up on their roof so they come in and have their yard guys come in and whack them off every year that not only does not encourage more blooming there have been several scientific studies done to, to prove this but it also opens the tree up to insect and disease problems. So what we need to do is pick the right variety for the right place and plant it far enough from the house so that it can grow to its potential. And don't prune the crepe myrtles. If you have had, maybe you've inherited a home that has had a, a crepe myrtle that's been whacked off many, many years and you have these big bulbous, uh, gnarly. Witch, gnarly witch's broom effects at the end of the leaves, there is hope. The crepe myrtle is one of the most resilient plants around. You can cut it off at the ground and have it come back picking three to five trunks that you want to keep as main trunks spaced out in, in, in a nice manner and encourage those to grow. It will come back in no time. If it's only been a year or two that someone's been whacking off your crepe myrtles, just stop doing it and continue just to prune for form, the shape, and uh, to prevent crossing branches in the middle to open up the tree to air circulation. Other than that, leave them alone. Now we have Molly talking to us about how to grow mums. And garden mums in Texas are a very popular plant. She's going to tell us how to keep them healthy and growing. All right, so one of the things uh, with fall and everybody's seeing gorgeous mums right now, so um, we get a lot of questions, how do I keep them from year to year? And they, they're a perennial, they're tough, and they can be grown year to year. The important thing is to plant them soon enough, so or early enough rather, so that they have time to root and get established before they go dormant. And they go dormant in the winter. So up until about October, mid to late October, is still safe to plant your mums. Um, otherwise, you can plant them in the spring They'll grow throughout the summer and then put on a great show of color in the fall. Now, we had a question from Kelly, who happened to live in Indiana, and she asked what to do with her bums. Um, in Texas, we don't have to mulch them and uh, be quite so particular about protecting them because we don't have a severe of winters. But Kelly, in Indiana, you're going to need to mulch up over your, your mums as soon as it starts to get cold. And then in the spring, when the uh, peel the mulch back off of them and when you see the new shoots come out trim off the old stems otherwise uh, regular all-purpose fertilizer and an occasional trim to shape and you've got gorgeous mums all right so this has been our second segment of ask the experts i hope you all learned about crepe myrtles and mums if you have any more questions for us you just go to backbonevalleynursery.com slash ask Type in your question, we'll be happy to answer it and possibly even answer it um, in our next video segment. Otherwise, we'll get to you online. And for Mary Kay and Molly at Backbone Valley, see you next see week. See you next time.